this is Brian Van from Noxarmor, noxarmor.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the Knox Cross Knee Guards. These are available just like the Cross Elbow Guards in two different sizes, okay? This will be the long version, this will be the short version. We're going to kind of go large and small here. I think, that, I think that's going to be a little more fitting, okay? I want to hold them side by side so you can clearly see the difference between small and the large. A lot more length to cover the shin. Beyond that, I find they fit very similar and the strapping systems are also very similar. I have both on right now underneath the pants I have on and I'll show you how they fit here in just a second, but first let's talk about the protector itself. Now that we've already went ahead and, and covered the length difference, let's start off with the strapping system. The uppermost strap is going to be a simple wrap around, like yay. Quite a measure of adjustment built in. I mean, you can go from its biggest point here to if you if you were really really thin in the thighs. I mean, all the way around there, it gets tighter than you would ever need it. You'll also note that this Velcro, it's it's really comfortable. These don't feel bad when they're on. The pair that I have on now. I've had on for probably about an hour walking around the shop, sitting at the computer, stuff like that. They feel great, not a lot of added heat. Perfect. For somebody that's looking for a solution to protect the knees and the shin a bit when you're out riding, because let's face it, those are certainly vulnerable areas. You can wear these under a pair of jeans, under a pair of riding pants, pretty much whatever you choose. You know, if, if you're wearing a skin-tight painted-on pair of Jordache jeans, yeah, they're probably not going to fit. But the way pants fit normally today, the way they're kind of cut a lot baggier than they used to be, these are going to be very comfortable underneath the pants. You can take them off when you get to your destination if you choose to, or if you just leave them on because it's really, like I said at the end of the day, it's, it's not that bad. It's going to depend on how long you're off the bike and whether or not you do want to take them off. The second strap is a little bit different, and let's, let's talk about that right now. You'll notice that first you bring it across this part of the strap here, and then you get the adjustment by wrapping this one back around. Hopefully the video kind of displays what we're talking about, but it's really self-explanatory when you get them in front of you. Show you one more time. For the lower one, let's kind of do up the upper one here and get it out of the way. The lower one you can see the way that it hangs like this. You need to first take the inner portion, wrap it around, and you take the outer portion and come back over and that's where you get your adjustment and effectively it's going to be like this this double piece here in the back. Let's talk about level of protection. Core C certified like everything Knox does. It's got a hard outer GP shell. All this other material you see even extending underneath the Velcro is an energy absorbing foam and it's also perforated as to allow some airflow in and also to allow heat energy that would normally get trapped between the protector and your body to escape. You can see on the, on the small version the padding extends just a little bit beyond the GP hard outer shell. Let's have a look at the inside. And you can see that energy absorbing material a little bit better there. Show you the coverage difference here on the lawn. Quite a bit of added material. Not only is the GP protected lawn, but this even extends beyond it much farther. You're going to get more protection and more coverage with this one for sure. You know, I would make the size choice based on the amount of coverage that you want. If you want to get a little more in the shin, okay, buy the large, buy the long. If you're looking to cover primarily just the knee and you're not so worried about the shin, go ahead and buy the short version or the small version if you will. The only difference in strapping with the large or the long is that it adds one more strap at the very bottom, okay. I will say that between the two, when you have the large or the long on, it just feels like it's held in place a little bit better and that's probably because number one it's a little more surface area and number two we have the additional strap at the bottom okay now we're going to show you the two protectors on Eric if you would please uh, you know just pan down and kind of keep the camera down if you will I'll just go ahead and pull my riding jeans down here and you can see the uh, the two protectors on and it's going to give you a real good sense for, for the difference here the amount of coverage it offers long short Please keep my butt out of the shot here. And here is the strapping system from the back. Like I said, I've had these on for some time. Back up go the pants. Okay, all right, we're good to go. We're ready to rock. And the last thing is, 
Just like the cross elbow guards, this is going to come with a, a nice carrying bag so you can keep the protectors together and you don't lose them. It's got a little strap on the back, a little shoulder strap if you want to use it. And then it's got a couple of ventilated panels. That's in case they're a little damp when you put them away. It's going to give an opportunity for air to move in and out of the bag so they dry effectively and don't get all nasty while sitting in the bag. These are the Knox Cross Knee Guards, available in two sizes, long or large and short or small.